some dinner. It's like, a, it's like a haunted house. It's like an underwater haunted house. <laughs> like we are Mike and Taylor. And these are our dogs, Penny and Lucy. We sold our home and nearly everything we owned moved aboard a 40-foot boat, and sailed from Seattle. This is the story of us making our way. Welcome back, guys. We are still where we left you last time, San Carlos, Mexico, where we've been for several weeks now, taking advantage of the solid cell service for work. We grabbed a slip at the marina, and today we are enjoying a sweet marina park. One of the things that you get at the marina there is a day pass to this beach club that's right across the way, and we figured we'd come over here and try the Wi-Fi to upload a video. And this place is snazzy, it's look at us. I wasn't expecting this, but this is like, this feels like we're on vacation at a luxury resort. It's kind of awesome. Bougainvilleas are so beautiful. We tried several times to grow them in Seattle and spoiler alert, they didn't make it. They did not like the Seattle winter or the Seattle summer or anything about Seattle. This is where they're happy and you can tell because they're everywhere here and they're so gorgeous. Well, their Wi-Fi there was not great, but the rest of that place was pretty great. So upload, not accomplished, but that was a nice afternoon. Doing something a little different. Now we're walking back to the boat. We've got two very tired little babies on board, I'm sure. We've been at the dock for nine days now and I uh, can't make water here in the marina and uh, can't drink the dock water because it's Mexico so so that's what we're doing luckily we got this big inspection port in the top of the tank so Yesterday, I finished drilling my hole in the bow roller for the tack line on our spinnaker. And I got my shackle in there. I sent that guy through. And then this morning I made another one of these soft shackles. This one's a little longer and I did uh, 13 loops of this Dyneema. Each one of these strands of Dyneema has an average breaking strength of 500 pounds. So there's 13 of them. So in theory, the average breaking strength of this soft shackle should be, what, 6,500 pounds? But um, 
I have a hunch that you can't just add it like that. I'd be interested to know if there's any engineers watching, if you could tell me how that works. Can you just add them together? Is there some formula that you could use to figure out, like, or some percentage of braking strength that you should use? I don't know. Probably a lot depends on how well I did of uh, actually seizing this shackle together. But at any rate, this one's a little longer, a little stronger, so I'm gonna put this one on my uh, tack line. And hopefully it'll run fair. I might have to remove our seat, uh, make it a little smaller or something like that so that everything runs fair. But then we'll be ready to go out and actually uh, try flying this spinnaker, which is fun and maybe a little scary since we've never, neither of us have ever flown a spinnaker before. Hola from San Carlos, where we have been now for several weeks. And in truth, it's it hasn't been like a terribly exciting several weeks. It's been a lovely town. We've enjoyed being here, but there just hasn't been like that much going on. I have been really just tied to my desk most days. We really haven't done a huge amount of exploring. We haven't done a lot of the stuff that kind of comes along with life on anchor just because we've been we've been kind of just busy doing mundane stuff that we just haven't really filmed that much. However, today we decided to mix things up a little bit. <laughs> so after a little bit of morning at my desk, we are going to throw everybody in Chandler here and we're going to pile on the dinghy and we're going to go on a little expedition. So there's some really cool stuff out around the point here. There's like sea caves, there's a sunken, what, battleship? Or something? Uh, it's an old minesweeper. Minesweeper? That's a game. It's like a World War II era minesweeper. Mm -hmm. There's a sunken ship out here that Mike's been really interested in, in diving on. There's also supposed to be like a really crystal clear, beautiful little cove. We're just gonna go explore. We're gonna bring the kids so they can, even though they're they're pretty pooped from their adventures <clears throat> yesterday. Yeah, I'm excited to mix it up a little bit today because I felt a little cooped up in here. It's been wonderful being productive and getting to work with clients again and doing all sorts of stuff, but I, we need to get out like in the sun and we're gonna go explore. <laughs> Martini Cove. And it's supposed to be this clear, calm, beautiful little spot with great snorkeling. And we've never come in here. Partly because getting out here in our oh, with our old outboard was kind of an ordeal because we couldn't really go very fast and it was kind of almost dangerous. So it would have taken forever. It would have taken forever, but now that we've got some speed, we can we can explore some new places. So this is cool. has so many gems and treasures. It reminds me of that beach on the far side of Isla San Francisco that they call Agate Beach because it's got geodes and agates, but there's like, there's tons of these here. Like I just found this full on crystal thing. It's really neat. Lots of treasures, there's sea glass. It's so cool. So, are you gonna go swimming? Yeah, I think over here on this point would be really good. Yeah. Uh, and the water's warm. Water is pretty warm. I think it's warmed up in the last two weeks. I think it's warmed up like almost five degrees. Good girl, she's coming out. 
Lucy, go see Mike! Sunken ship, and uh, I am definitely not going in the water, but Mike is. <laughs> Why are we to go in? Uh, it's just, it's like. A... Oh, it's alright. I'm just gonna paddle around. He's going in. I'm not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it just creeps me out, man. I don't know. It's like, a, it's like a haunted house. It's like an underwater haunted house. Like underwater, scary enough. I don't need a haunted house. You know? I don't know. I think it's gonna be cool. I've always wanted to do this.
The USS Gladiator was launched in 1943 by the U.S. Navy and served in World War II and was also used as a minesweeper in the Korean War in 1952. In its later years, it was used as a training vessel off of California until 1972 when it was discharged from the U.S. Naval Registry and sold to the Mexican government for use as an active maritime patrol vessel. It spent some time moored here in San Carlos before being decommissioned and donated to Sonora, where it was scuttled to create an artificial reef and dive site. Yeah. You can hear like creaking. Oh my god. And I don't know god. if it's like, it might be the buoy, it might be yeah. that boat, but, but you can hear like, I don't know, it just sounds like something metal like going. Oh my god. Well, I feel like I can't hold my breath very long. Well, we're out of practice. Yeah. It's been like a long time since we've been swimming or snorkeling and kind of fun to get out and do this again. I don't know, we just haven't played in the water a lot lately, so this has been cool. Yeah, and this is the first time I've been in the water without a wetsuit since December. Yeah, wow. Penny, where are you going? It's super cool having this engine, being able to yeah. come deal with everybody. Like, We'd never be able to do this. Yeah, especially with the whole family. Wow, cool. Well, we went to Martini Cove, saw some clear water, did some snorkeling. We drove into some caves, which was really cool, and you dove on a battleship. That was pretty fun, huh, guys? Today is going to be a bit of a boat work day. We got another issue with our head. Seems like it's always something with these heads. We have a clog. The good news is, at least this time, the clog is on the intake side. So I'll show you what's happening. We're, we flush with salt water so we can set this to dry and then it just kind of drains the bowl or we can set it to flush and then it brings in salt water and, and drains the bowl at the same time. And when I put it on flush it just doesn't really want to go anywhere so I think we sucked something up so anyway I'm gonna pull off the intake hose which is down here and hopefully pull out whatever's in there we had friends on a, another boat one time suck an octopus up and I guess it went all the way into their head and all the way through and out <laughs> so I hope it's nothing like that but We'll see. I might have to uh, jump in the water too, because maybe there's just something right on the outside. Fun morning. All right, I think I found our problem. I was going to remove the intake hose, and this is the inlet on the pump at the head, and I think we're gonna have a little, looks like a shrimp or something in there. So hopefully I don't have to take the whole pump off. There's a there's a critter in the in the pump. A big one. I don't know. You can just see the tail. It's like a shrimp or something. Oh no. <laughs> so we caught, a sh we caught a toilet shrimp. Yeah, some dinner. We caught a toilet shrimp. Oh no. Oh no, poor little guy. Oh, what if he's still alive? Do you think he's alive? Then we'll throw him overboard. Poor little toilet shrimpy. Oh, it's a fish. Oh. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Alright. 
Well, hopefully that's it. We'll be back in business. Perfect operation. All right. Project one down. Just cutting this shirt into a rag and then I realized I made an awesome shirt out of it. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna keep it. I like that, Mike. Thanks. You should wear that for to cocktails tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at your dad. He's so cute. Because it keeps the belly cool. And yeah. Hot, so. Let that button breathe. Yeah. That looks good, so, Mike. Yeah, I know it looks good. Yeah. It feel good. Yeah. <laughs> I was just saying how uh, palm trees are like a cat's penis. In what way, Mike? Well, they're, they got these little barbs and they're one directional. So, you know, you can go up this way, but not the other way. It's good for climbing See, the palm tree. I was going to say it's like Hotel California, but you went with cat's penis. Yeah, I mean, I, tell me how this isn't like a cat's penis. You just killed the bougainvillea. <laughs>